I am going to do number 10. So number 10 says, according to the intermediate value theorem, the function f of x and the function equals 2 cosine x minus 2x minus 1 must have a zero on one, um, which of the following intervals. So the intermediate value test tells us that if we plug in the two numbers in the intervals, and one gives us a positive and the other gives us a negative, then there must be a zero in there. So we're going to use, and just to sum it up, I mean this isn't the official theorem, but this is a summary. So pretty much on the interval, if one endpoint or coordinate, let's say coordinate, gives a positive number and other coordinate gives a negative number, then there is a zero. Okay. So sometimes they'll ask you to find the interval or stuff like this, but because this is multiple choice, they gave you the interval. So all we have to do is plug these numbers in and see which one gives us a positive and a negative value. Because it's saying that there must be a zero on which of the following. So first I'm going to try A. And that's from pi over 2 to pi. Okay? So to test this, I'm first I'm going to test f of pi over 2. And I'm going to plug it in. So I have 2 cosine of pi over 2 minus 2 times pi over 2 minus 1. Um, cosine of pi over 2 is 0. So the 2's cancel here. I have negative pi minus 1. We're not so much concerned about what this number is, like minus 3.4, minus 1, and minus 4.4. All we need to know is that this gives us a negative value. And now I'm going to try f of pi, the other coordinate. So I have 2 cosine pi minus 2 pi minus 1. Cosine of pi is negative 1, so I have negative 2 minus 2 pi minus 1, we know that this is also going to be a negative value. Because those are both negative, we know that A does not work. So from there we can try B. And B is from 3 pi over 2 to 2 pi. Which we know is going to be the same because the values of cosine of these values are the same and sine, um, cosine of these values are the same. We'll do it. So f of 3 pi over 2 is going to be um, I'm sorry, 2 cosine minus 2, 3 pi over 2, minus 1. 3 pi over 2 is 0, so 2's cancel here. I got minus 3 pi minus 1, and that's going to be a negative. And now when I test 2 pi, Two cosine two pi minus four pi minus one. If cosine of two pi is one, so I have two minus four pi minus one is also going to be a negative. So this does B doesn't work. So then I move on to C, which is hopefully the lucky charm. So I'm from zero to pi over two. So f of 0, when I plug it in, I have 2 cosine 0 minus 2 times 0 minus 1. Cosine of 0 is 1, so I have 2 minus 1, and that's 1, which is a positive number. That's 0, so 2 minus 1 is positive. And then remember from earlier that f of pi over 2, when we did all this out, it was from here. Remember, don't do extra work if you don't have to. I got a negative number. So because I got a positive number and a negative number, I know that C is the correct answer.
and I don't even need to test D. And this is because f of um, 0 is a positive number, and f of pi over 2 is a negative number. So it's a little time consuming, but you know that one of these answers has to be it. So that's problem number 10.